Kia ora reviewers and welcome to October's Earth Prediction series using the Psy cards. If any of you have been following this particular prediction series that I work on, you will understand perhaps the meaning behind these cards. There's a whole bunch of them in the deck. They are devised on the system of psychology that Carl Jung understood, collective consciousness. And this is in theory, I guess, how humans work. And even if you want to go a little bit um, more into the theology of it, if you've ever heard of the hundred monkey syndrome, when they've done human tests very much the same. And this is what they come to assume is this um, dimension that we're all connected somehow in the ethers and our thoughts, which I believe in very highly, are what create the realities that we exist in. And hereby is the hundredth monkey proposition, which is collective consciousness, which is also how we work. So going ahead onto the reading, I'll just pick them up again and do a little bit more shuffling to connect for October's Earth Predictions reading. So guys, let's see what comes out for October. The first card is work. Interesting card because we have all of the wheels in it and I think of them as being time. Something to do with the passage or the journey of time quite often when this card comes up. And we have just passed through the two lunar eclipse of the year, the last of the year for 2015, and the last fourth blood moon of a tetrad that people have talked about and some philosophize on to do with religion and different perspectives. So there feels to be some sort of planetary involvement. We're either moving in or out of particular cycles, if you like, and I know in October there are still some quite difficult ones to move through, so we'll still get activity if you like or awakening with some people or some sort of aha moment where you might go oh gosh now I either feel the reason why I'm doing this or I see it or I understand it that's often the feeling when we see these big wheels involved in things it's as if you things are ticking over they can also tick over in the physical realm such as big engines because this looks like a big engine room to me so I sometimes think of things along those lines such as boats, planes, trains, anything that ferries people around, big passenger type vehicles there could be some sort of engine related trouble or issues with some of them so keep your eyes out for that in October and listen to the news events the other thing is that the word work Sometimes we see big um, changes in work arenas, so whether or not companies make big structured movements or you hear some sort of announcement from a big company about something new that's coming or changes they're making one way or another. The second card is the fortune card. And lo and behold, that's very unusual, it's turned upside down. It is a wheel, again it's a wheel and it's a cycle and a pathway. Now, interestingly enough, if it were going, if it were facing the right way up, this chap would be walking up the stairwell and into this place of light. He's having illumination of some type, which is exactly what I mentioned in the first card. So some sort of illumination or progression forward. But in fact it's reversed. So it makes me think of some sort of issues or negativity around your pathway, as if, as if we've come to some glitch phase, as if talks have to be renegotiated, or we're going backwards, or we're going downhill. I also think of things being stuck underground, and because he's going back down, is there something to do with underground issues, tunnels, underground volcanoes, earth movement, earthworks, stuff like that, hidden events as well or hidden agendas that we're unaware of that perhaps they may have been going to surface but there's more work required on them and they're going backwards again. I think these two tie in quite well together. The next card is the sun. This is a beautiful card to get. We get this feeling of happiness and gregarity, some sort of celebration going on here. I also think of children being involved. 
We see this as being a harvest time, so I think of perhaps the Northern Hemisphere, which you guys are coming into autumn up there or fall, and so there may be something up there to do with children's issues or rights or something around children being involved in a big global perspective. There's also possibly someone is having happy celebrations somewhere around the planet that involve children. As well we look at the sun, we see these giant rays streaming from it. So we come back to the same theory that I often um, run with. If any of you know Suspicious Observers channel, you will understand very well where I'm coming from. If you haven't heard of him, I suggest you um, subscribe to his channel. He talks a lot and is working a lot with the sun and how it affects our universe and our planet in particular. So when the sun has high energetic actions such as CMEs or large um, coronal holes or mass ejections or some sort, they bombard our planet, or they can do if they're aimed at us, and they can send proton mass ejection towards us, which can create things such as aurora on our planet. It can also give higher intensity of magnetised properties coming to us, which can affect migratory animals, animals that work on the magnetics, planes, our satellites, telecommunications, all those type of things. So there's a whole raft of various issues that the sun can affect. Um, I think science is becoming readily accepting of this theory now and most people understand that these proton bombardments do affect us one way or another. So it would feel as though October has something big about the sun going on. The next card is the friendship card. And I see that is also reversed. The things in the friendship card, when it's facing the right way up, I often think of animals because there's this bird in here. I think of explosives for some reason because these look like drums of TNT. They can also look like, uh, which they are, alcohol. So sometimes there can be alcohol related incidents around the world that grab the attention of people. We would have to think that if we're in the friendship is falling away and upside down, these people appear to be in talks, and again we get this feeling of talks going awry. So I don't know what particular area of the globe this is, whether we've got some sort of meeting with large countries, such as maybe Russia and America and Syria, or the Middle East countries, or China, whether talks have been coming along but tend to be um, in a glitch phase, or stagnating for some reason or there's an interjection that slows them down or a new idea that's coming in that nobody knows about yet. That's the general feeling of the friendship card. I'll just move these across a little bit. And our last one is interestingly enough also upside down. Rather unusual set of circumstances. I'm not sure how they got to be that way in the deck so we will interpret them as being upside down. I think perhaps we could then view October as being a month where things might happen that you least expect or things are turned topsy-turvy upside down. The voyage card, well, there's the second message about boats because I mentioned over here I thought of big engines, boats. We see this one here as well. So something about boats possibly in the month of October that you'll have. Again, I keep getting this message, keep your ears and eyes open for it. It sounds like something's coming. This is the sea, the oceans, so we think of that as well, activity on the sea or the oceans. Often when the sun has a big output, it can create turbulent storm formations can be formed, such as cyclonic or hurricane storm formations. Perhaps that's something to look at. Big events that occur at sea. We could get some quake-related activity that's occurring at sea, and sometimes I think of the Middle East areas and up through that top part or the older part of the globe around Europe or through there. We also see this again which I often refer to as the sun and we see the rays coming out again. So double messages for the sun, double messages for uh, boats or ships or big vessels as well for the reading. I appreciate your time everyone and I wish you the very best for October. Take care. Much aroha, peace, light, namaste.